took the actions of one person to bring just a handful of these nasty little bugs into the Bloomington Hospital to put the hospital cleaning staff on high alert. We have confirmed that we do have some bed bugs in the facility. They are contained to just two patient rooms. You have seen these little monsters, the ones that have been known to crawl around under the covers with you at night. And getting rid of the bed bugs is not as easy as washing the sheets and scrubbing the walls and floors. And we're working now to um, heat those rooms to destroy any bed bugs that may be left in there. That's right, heat. That's how they recommend you, you get rid of bed, bed bugs. Turning the room thermometer up to 150 degrees. And at 150 degrees, you can melt a stick of butter within just minutes. So why use heat? Well, that is a good question. The hospital doesn't want to use pesticides out of safety concerns. So how long is the heat going to be on? Well, more than an hour. Matter of fact, more than a day, almost a day and a half at 150 degrees. That way the butter is melted and the bed bugs are cooked. We're also heating all of their belongings to make sure that any bed bugs that might be hidden would be destroyed. And to ensure the bugs are contained, patients are also getting a scrub down before leaving. Before patients are discharged, they are given a visual inspection and a shower. After that, they get a clean gown. The Bloomington Hospital is not the only place that has had bed bugs disrupt the peace. Indiana University has had a few sightings of their own. And with the Thanksgiving break coming up, the hopes are the bugs will be leaving and not coming back. In Bloomington, Richard Essex, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.